Okay, I was going to do something with my life. I was going to go out and contribute to society. But instead, I learned how to make indicator panels. So you step on it, and it changes, and it does the whole thing, and then you step off it, and then I hooked it up to a little timer that runs out of time. All right, let's do it. It's actually extremely easy to do. I got to tell you, it's so easy, you, you don't even need a tutorial in order how to do it. So there you go. Done. Uh, but seriously, though, build a box. Build a box. Or room, you know what I mean, after you make it hollow. Okay, and then go and make a player start entity, and then go and make um, make a floor button. And by the way, if anybody's looking at this and I go too quickly through certain things, that means I've already gone over it in a previous tutorial. So go back and check it out. Let's build a door. Prop test chamber door. Apply. Name it. Let's name it door. Looks great. I'm going to go to the model and go and change it to idle close. So it's not opening and closing and opening and closing. It's really irritating to me. Anyway, um, so that's great. Now let's go to the button and let's attach the door to the button. So obviously on pressed the door and then open. And then apply that and then go on unpressed. It's the door. And then close. Close. All right. Good. Whoops. I hit cancel. Oh, wait. I guess I didn't. Oh, cool. Okay, so that means you can step on this and open the door. Now let's make our little lights. What you go over to here is you go to your, I'm sorry, you go to your little texture browser over here and go to browse. And then go and type indicator or indicar or whatever. And over here you have a bunch of stuff. We're just going to be doing these two guys over here. And now you have indicator lights floor and then indicator lights wall. Well, let's do the floor. All right, and then go over here, new button, whole new button, apply overlays. It's like putting a poster down on top of something. So click on it, and then click in between the crap. Okay, so let's go over, get your selection tool, and then click on the little box in the center, and let's change it to lights. Make it plural, because there's going to be a ton of freaking lights. Okay, now, looking at it, you, you may be thinking, oh, you know what, we should build more lights. Well, here's what you do. You go over here to use start or UN, whatever, it doesn't matter. And one, that's how many buttons you have. You have, it's four times button per one. So that means if you have two, you have eight buttons. If you have three, you have 12 buttons. If you have 1.5, you have six buttons. You get me? You guys get it. I'm doing 16 buttons. Boom. So there you go, a ton of crap up over there. And let's make this a little bit more exact, and then let's, let's grow it. All the way out, and all the way out. That looks a little bit compact, which means I need more buttons. Let's do five. So that means 20 buttons. I think five times four, right? Uh, you know, that's still a little stretched. So let's make it 5.5. .5. I still think it's a little stretched. Boy, I put my crap way too far apart. Six. Okay, cool. That's pretty, that's pretty circular, don't you think? You know, it's still a little stretched. I got to tell you. Hell with it, I'm doing seven. Cool, that looks good. All right, now I now uh, those are great. Now let's go and put a little entity over here, and go make it prop indicator, prop indicator panel. Boom, apply, and then let's make it indicator, indicator. Whoops, indicator. Okay, apply. Where it is doesn't matter because it's not going to be visible. Indicator lights, specify lights, lights. Uh, yeah. There you go. That's it. So you got to do that. Now we go back to our button, and we go over and go Outputs, Add, On Pressed, Indicator, uh, what is it? Check? Yeah, check. Add, On, Unpressed, Oops. Indicator, Uncheck. There you go. Let's start it. So that's it. That's how you do just the lights. So we're going to do this in three stages. We're going to do just the lights, which is what we're doing now. And then we're going to go and we're going to fork it off and attach it to a check mark on the wall. And then have the wall mark check. And then we're going to go and put in a timer. But then this is the most basic one, just the lights with nothing else. Click on it. They change. Door opens. Go back. Hey, all right. Okay. Life is good. I know. I know it's good. Um, so let's go and make another, so let's go back to our apply overlays and click it right there. Now that is the wrong 
orientation. So here we go. I'm only clicking on this guy, and I'm going to go Control M, and I want to rotate it on the Z by 90 degrees. Looks good. And now let's stretch it out so it is where it's supposed to be. And boy, that looks ugly. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go and add. There we go. Let's make this, ooh, how far away do I think it is? You know, I'm going to do four. Um, oh, I always get these backwards. Well, let's move it a little bit over. Give me a little bit more. Okay, I think that looks great, actually. Okay, and you remember you want to go over and then name this guy Lights, too. Lights, whoops. Lights. And now the same thing, you got to go back over here, go to Browse, and then click on Indicator Lights for the wall. And then go and click on this dude, and bam! on the wall. Oh, you know, let's go over to our panel first. See, hopefully you've been making your, this over in the direction of your panel. If not, move your pet panel over in this direction. Now let's go over, click on it, and let's rotate it so it is facing the direction that we want. One little quick word to wise, this red is going the opposite direction we want. So I'm going to undo that, and you know what, I'm actually going to go to Go to Control M, and then I'm going to rotate this on the Z too. I'm going to go do a negative 90. I think nope, negative 90 is not what I want because the red is facing in the wrong direction. If your red is facing in the wrong direction, you won't be able to see it. So we'll do 90. Okay, I think this is facing the right direction. Cool. All right, click on that. So now we can move it, and let's move this guy back into the wall. Let's let's just leave him a little bit out. I don't think anybody's going to mind. Okay, and then click on this guy, same deal, except now we want to rotate it on the Y. That was Control M I just hit. And now we want to go to our top, or our side view, and get it so the entity extends correctly. Not the entity, the uh, overlayer, whatever the crap this is. And go back to U Start. I'm going to do this 2.5. I think that's going to be 10. I think that looks great. I'm going to move this guy so it looks better. And get it there. Oh, it's just, oh, that's perfect. And then you want to go back to your indicator panel. And you want to make it so it's visible. Yep. Is it a timer? Nope. Is it checked? Uh-uh. Okay. And let's start. So then now we have, oh, sh well, uh, I forgot to do something. I forgot to uh, I forgot to rename the second panels on the wall to lights, so that means only two thirds of them are going to be good. Okay, so then boom, looks great. Except I forgot to name those, so I'm going to do those real quick. All right, do those real quick. These guys right here, gotta just name them lights. Cool. So that means those are on there. Let's do one more indicator panel. So go back, make a prop, go over here, indicator, prop indicator panel. All right, let's make it a timer. T-I-M-E-R. Oh, you know how to spell timer. What am I saying? Is it checked? No, it's not. Indicator lights doesn't have any. Is it a timer? Why, yes. Yes, it is. Start visible. Of course, start visible. And then timer duration, let's make it 4.78. Oh, you can make it. You can make it however much you want. I just made it some random freaking number. So here we go. We remember that the the red needs to be facing out so let's let's go to oh control m and then rotate it by 90 boom remember the red's got to be facing out which it is and then move it over pretty much on the wall oh you know what? let's make this perfect got to be perfect oh yeah that looks good that looks good uh i think i did everything with that and then we click over on the button and then add on pressed go to timer and then start Cool. There we go. Like, really. That's it. So now you got a timer. You can use a timer if you want. You can do just indicator panels if you want. And then you can do indicator panels with a check mark. With a check mark. That's it. And there we go. All is well. Cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed a phantasmal tutorial. And uh, I'm going to go.